what to expect in upcoming CSIR NET June 2019 exam. CSIR NET exam is just around the corner. Most of you must be appearing for the exam, must be deep into your preparation and the super tense. But a stereotype study needs to be converted to a more tactful study method if you want to qualify the CSIR NET exam. Biotechnica is here with a set of topics from which you can expect questions in the upcoming CSIR NET exam. Upon thorough analysis and discussions among peers at Biotechnica, we present to you a list of important topics from which you may expect questions in upcoming CSIR NET June 2019 exam. But remember, these are just predictions. You can master those topics well, but don't neglect other concepts. Pay equal attention. Part A. One can expect to get sums based on height and distance, time and distance, time and work, profit and loss, area and perimeter, mensuration sums based on volume and of course reasoning based questions. Unit 1 Molecules and their interaction relevant to biology Ramachandran plot has always remained a hot topic for the examiners. Amino acid charge and structure, nucleic acid structure, enzymology and rate kinetics, thermodynamics and bond energy are among the others from which questions can be expected. Unit 2 Cellular Organization Last time, no questions have been set from microbial growth curve and operon. So, there is a high chance that questions can come from this area. Apart from that, questions can come from transposons, protein translocation and membrane structure and function. Unit 3 Fundamental Processes The whole of Unit 3 is important because Questions come from anywhere and everywhere. There is no exact pattern of question sorting from this section. Unit 4 Cell Communication and Cell Signaling Subunit 4 A is very important wherein special emphasis should be laid upon HIV, malaria, TB, cholera, diphtheria related topics. Cell signaling and chemotaxis are equally important as those of immunology, apoptosis and aging. Unit 5 Developmental Biology This unit comprises of both animal and plant developmental biology. The important chunks from the animal developmental biology include potency, commitment, induction, Specification C. urchin, C. elegans, Drosophila, Amphibian gastrulation, Mammals and regeneration are important topics. For plant developmental biology, two of the parts are very important. Subunit 5D and B is important with respect to Organogenesis and Morphogenesis, extra effort must be given plant taxonomy as questions are now quite common from that part and students have an obvious tendency to skip the same. Unit 6 System Physiology Plant In this unit, parts A and B always stand out to be the most important that is photosynthesis and respiration. These two parts are a must do. As the benefit of preparing these two units prepares for some parts of Unit 1J. Questions can be expected from abscisic acid, gibberellic acid, ethylene among the plant hormone alongside secondary metabolites, abiotic stress and sensory photobiology. Unit 7 System Physiology Animal Endocrine system and excretion are the most important topics from this unit 
From there, you can expect questions for sure. For June 2019 examination, stress has to be given on Unit 7, B, C, D, F and J. Unit 8, Inheritance Biology. Questions are likely to be set from the Mendelian principle, that is, Part A and also from Part B and C, with emphasis on epistasis, linkage mapping, tetrad analysis, other mapping techniques, mutation, microbial genetics, recombination, and QTL are important topics for this June 2019 examination. Unit 9 Diversity of Life Forms from this section, questions can come from cladistics, part and the characteristics of all the phylums of plant and animal kingdom. Characteristic based questions come all the time. So, if one memorizes the characters well, then this section can be very scoring. Unit 10 Ecological Principles Ecology is a scoring section where questions are based on the concepts niche community ecology succession ecosystem biodiversity pollution biogeography and conservation are the areas where questions can come from unit 11 evolution and behavior population genetics molecular evolution migration song learning endosymbiotic theory and paleontological periods these are very important topics with regard to this examination you can get sums on altruism and hardy weinberg equilibrium and related topics unit 12 applied biology agrobacterium mediated gene transfer is a hot topic which may be asked individually as part B or C questions or in combination with other statement based questions. What more can be expected here looking at past question papers is from subunit 12A, 12B, 12C and 12H. All of these have elaborate data to remember which can give rise to match the following types of questions. Not to forget PCR. AFLP, RFLP, NEST, which usually forms a part C situation statement based question. Unit 13 Methods and Biology Questions were witnessed from Jean, knocked out by Craylox and Neo. So chances are more for questions to be set from these sections. This is one of the most important units from CSIR point of view, which can render approximately 8 part B plus part C questions singly or in combination with other units. Problems based on DNA technology are expected. Combined questions are expected from subunits C, E and F in part C. Also one match the following type of question can be expected from subunit G. Keeping all these points in mind while preparing, if one studies a topic clearing the concept and practicing the exams, qualifying CSIR net exam is not a tough task. Moreover, if Biotechnica is by your side, it will be an add-on. Fresh batch for CSIR net December 2019 exam will start from 1st July 2019. Book your seats now to avoid a last minute rush and avail free add on courses. To know more, dial us on 1800 1200 1818.